Hey guys, so this week is a little bit different. I wanted to clear up some confusion about heat styling and heat damage when it comes to hair and natural hair in general. Um, so I'm going to do three myths and two truths. Myth number one, you can reverse heat damage. That's a lie. Once you have heat damage, you cannot reverse it. So you either have to do A, a big chop, or do gradual trims to cut off the heat damaged ends. So what happens when you heat, have heat damage is that your natural curl pattern, whether it's wavy, kinky curly, or even straight, it'll feel brittle and fragile. And so when you comb it out, you'll notice that you'll have a bunch of strands on the comb or the brush or however you manage your hair. Um, heat damage is something that you can't just reverse overnight. Like it takes time. So you either wanna grow your hair out or like I said before, do a big chop or gradual trim. Myth number two, natural hair is more prone to heat damage than permed hair. That's also a lie. Permed hair has already been destroyed with all the chemicals in the perm compound. So basically when you add heat damage with all the chemicals from the perm, your hair is destroyed completely. It's brittle, it's fragile, it's just gross. Myth number three, use heat protectant. That's completely false. So the heat protectant nowadays that you can buy at your beauty supply store or your local Walmart and Target are 99% silicone based. And what that means is the silicone in the product doesn't actually help your hair. It just coats your hair with this nasty greasy film. And when you straighten your hair, it fries. It doesn't actually help it at all. So when you want to either blow dry or even straighten your hair, try coconut oil, tea tree oil, carrot oil, or even jojoba oil. Now we've gotten to the best part, the truths. So what I found as my personal truth is is the more you stay away from heat, the longer and thicker your hair grows. That's from my personal experience. Um, I've noticed that like when I abstain from heat, my hair isn't thin or thinning out. It gets thicker and I appreciate the thickness. So here's truth number two. Your hair can withstand 450 degrees of heat, which means when you flat iron your hair and play with the different temperatures, do not go past 450 because you will burn your hair off and it will become brittle and fragile and that's just not something anybody wants to deal with. So. So remember when you're taking care of your hair, remind your casual trims, utilize all your oils, and be careful with heat. I'll see you next week.